In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the million dollar exercise for treating your low back pain and sciatica. I'm Sam Schroepke, Doctor of Physical Therapy with Physical Therapy and Hand Clinic of Hillsborough, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do an exercise called Rotation Inflection. And as I alluded to in the introduction, Robin McKenzie referred to this as his million dollar exercise. And if you know anything about physical therapy, you know that Robin McKenzie is one of the most important people to contribute to the field of physical therapy. There are three clues that will let you know if rotation and flexion is going to help you. One, your pain is limited to one side. So whether you have just low back pain and or low back pain and sciatica, that's pain that runs down the back of the leg or on the side of the leg, all of those are limited to one side. Two, you tried an extension exercise such as extension and lying and it made you worse. So you did the exercise, you got up, you have more pain, your movement's more restricted, you feel more stiff, and if you had sciatica, it's more intense and it might be running farther down the back of your leg. Three, you were doing an extension exercise and you were actually getting better, but then your improvements plateaued, and no matter what you do, you cannot get past that plateau. If that's going on, try rotation and flexion. In order to do rotation and flexion, you need to be lying on your back. So you can do this on the floor or on your bed. Make sure though that if you're doing it on your bed, that you leave enough room because your knees are going to go down to your side. You want to make sure that you're not going to fall off the edge of your bed basically. So leave a little bit of space there. Usually when you do rotation and flexion, you're going to bring your knees over toward your painful side in most cases. Not in every case, but in, in most cases that's what you're going to do. So we're gonna say that my pain is on this left side, um, either low back pain or pain running down my leg. Start on your back. Your hips and your knees are both bent to about 45 degrees. Knees are together, feet are together. What you're gonna do is bring your knees toward your chest so that you get about a 90 degree angle in the hips, and then you're, you're gonna move them over toward your painful side. You can hold with this hand if you want to to add a little overpressure or you just leave it flat. This shoulder remains flat. You hold this position anywhere from 30 seconds up to three minutes. Just relax into the position. If it's uncomfortable, you can adjust your hip angle. Some people like to have the hips bent a little more. If that feels more comfortable, then do that. Others, a little less. Whatever is most comfortable for you, just do it that way. And just breathe, just relax into the position. Okay, so I'm toward my side of my pain. And then when you get out of the position, you're going to log roll this way and then come up. So that way you're not tweaking your spine in any uncomfortable or unnatural way. I'm Sam Schroepke, Doctor of Physical Therapy with Physical Therapy and Hand Clinic of Hillsborough, showing you how to do rotation inflection. The dosing for rotation inflection is maintaining the position for 30 seconds up to 3 minutes and repeating that every two to three hours or is needed for pain. Always test these exercises out. When you're done with the exercise, get up, walk around. How does it feel when you get up from a seated position? How does it feel when you stand? How does it feel when you walk around? Those all should feel better. And if you do feel better afterward, that's a very good indicator that this is the right exercise for you. If you like what you've seen, Subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the little bell so that you'll be notified each week when we upload a new video. Share the video with your friends, like the video, and leave comments below. Let us know if you've tried this exercise and how it worked for you. Let us know if it's made you feel better, and even let us know if it's made you feel worse or if it didn't work for you at all, because in that case, we could suggest modifications that might make the exercise more beneficial for you or we could steer you toward another exercise that might be more appropriate for you. 